Hello and welcome to T-Mobile G1 apps. I haven't been around in quite a few times already, but so yeah. Oh crap! Oh, not working. So my I have a flip clock on my home screen now, which I kind of like. I uh, thought th th if y'all can see that transition. So yeah. The first app I want to review for you today is, hmm, it's a lot of good apps, but I want to pick Backgrounds. If y'all ever own an iPhone, iPod Touch ever in your lifetime, then this is a perfect app for you. You're probably very familiar with it. You have your popular category, which you can just, ooh, I clicked the ads. Hold on. Backgrounds. Okay. Back. Popular. Oh. Okay. So here's your you popular wallpapers. Then I just tap that arrow over there. It goes. And I can just hit that arrow again it changes again here, these are all your popular things by the way so here you go let's say I like this one all I have to do is just tap it I can set it as a con with the wallpaper I can set it as the contact picture set as favorite or save it to my pictures set as wallpaper And then it says new wallpaper has been set. So all I have to do is just go home. And then, oh, I like this one. <laughs> and then you have it all together. So that's the first app I want to review. Second app. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm not done with that. And all you still have, you can hit menu. You have your my favorites, popular, recent. Slideshow search categories. Just go to categories here. Here are your categories. So let's say I want to go with city. Just tap city. And I'm in city. Stuff. Same thing concept. Just tap a picture that set as wallpaper. So the next app is. Hmm. Twitdroid. Y'all probably have heard about this. It won at, um, best social app of the year, or Twitter app of the year, or something like that, for Android last year. I mean, a few months ago, actually. And I know it's a new update. It's actually very organized and very smooth. All I have to do to upload a post. Man. Is do that, and I just slide up my keyboard, and let's type in mm, making a video, and I just tap that little just tap that little play looking icon right there. It says tweet sent. That yeah, registers your tree and all that. Okay. So like there I am right there. I need to change my Twitter pay thing. Middle kid twenty, follow me on Twitter. And then that's all. Then you have your I believe it's my mentions. Or like direct messages and all that. Mentions. Then I believe these are my total direct messages. I had a few, but I deleted a lot. Then I have my search Twitter and my refresh icon. So yeah, go home, back, the exact same place. The next app I want to review is hmm, the Weather Channel. Right now it says it's cloudy and sure nice artwork too. So yeah, let's see. 
I have my hourly. I can look at everything for hours. Well, it looks like it's gonna rain tonight a lot. Ten day forecast. Woo! Mm. Wow! Look at look at that. Mm. Scattered thunderstorms. Heavy thunderstorms. So yeah. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. All that stuff. And I have that. Then I have, here's where my warnings are. Just tap that little warning icon. And I have a river flood warning and flash flood watch until tomorrow. Hold on, what's today's day? The 28th. Till tomorrow. So yeah, oh, hold on. Not mean to do that. Then I can just click the back button and I'm back. I have my menu stuff. I have my search, my ad, video, my location, map, and help. I was right. Okay. If I click map, take me to the map and it has animated radar. That's what that area down here is for. So it, it does force close a lot, I have to admit. But overall, I'll probably give this like a four. Lost one star for the force closers. It does work though. Trust me, it works a lot. It works good. Then you have your basic controls at the bottom. Zoom in, zoom out controls at the bottom of the map. It is a little spotty and slow. As you can see it's not very fast then you have your oh, okay <laughs> that's my thing then if I click menu here I have my map points my places map mode and all that stuff let's go back to the main other channel area okay Oh, okay. I know there's a flash flood one. Okay. So then I can just tap my location again. And I have video. Oh, hold on. Good quality, I have to admit. And then I have my touch controls at the bottom. Pause, it pauses it. Pause, and then I have my little video control thingy right here at the bottom. Good quality video, I have to admit. And that's all I have today for the G1 Tips and Tricks. See you next time. Okay, bye.